one of the things that really slows us down with regard to implementation of PD is just the hurdles in implementation itself. There could be different hurdles and these could be based on where you're coming from, how you got ministry started or who you're with in terms of denomination and tradition and things like that. Now you have to remember and you know this that traditions are very important to people. So when you are trying something new and bringing change especially if you're a younger pastor, people are going to be scared and fearful that you are going to change something that's important to them, like a tradition or like a custom that they've been doing for many years. And they are going to fight the change you're bringing without a good understanding of the benefit that and the reason for which you're bringing about the change. PD, purpose driven, is principles of motion to help people grow in their spiritual walk. It is primarily the health of the church which stems from the health of the personal individual. When the individual is growing strong, then the families and relationships are strong and then the whole church is strong. This doesn't have anything to do with tradition. It is not denominational, it is not traditional, it is not even theological in terms of doctrines. So you and I have to preempt some of the fears and concerns that people might have, especially those who like church the way. Now, if you come from a highly traditional church where you feel people are not going to change anything easily, I would suggest that you start with the midweek and the outside service issues. Let me explain. When you go and begin to implement PD at the midweek level, that is, you can implement classes, you can implement small groups, you can implement relational ministries, you can start getting people involved in week, midweek ministries through small groups, you can begin to implement the purposes of the church in the lives of the individuals in the small groups and all of this will not touch the weekend. The weekend, the main church service, the main way of doing things, it won't touch any of that. The other way you could then slowly begin to bring about the changes is implement PD in all of its uh, forms uh, and purposes with regard to the before and after the service. So I've done a video about the climate, creating a climate before the service, creating a climate after the service. Why would people want to come back to your church? Why do they enjoy coming to your church? It often has to do with the 5-10 minutes before the service and the 5-10 minutes after the service. Like for instance, what is the welcome like outside? Is there enough of information? Is the lighting good? Are people happy? Are people joyful? All of those things you can create that atmosphere. So those are one of the ways. Now, you could focus on what are you doing to be a PD church in terms of worship, evangelism, discipleship, things like that. In terms of the booths outside, in terms of information, in terms of having people explain to the, uh, to the newcomers why they are here, what they need to, uh, they, what can they expect during the week. Having people connect with them after the service. Did you enjoy the service? How did you feel? Is there anything we can do to better your, uh, your, uh, your, um, your experience with us? Uh, you understand what I'm saying? So either before the service, and so you don't have to touch the service itself if that service is so highly, like some of the churches I've been to, people have said, no, no, no you can't change anything because back home or back at the headquarters or back at you know wherever uh, we have to get permission if we want to change anything fine no problem because being purpose driven isn't about changing traditions it is about changing priorities it is about seeing things from a purpose perspective rather than from a uh, program or any other policy perspective so i hope that you can begin to think about that so let me leave those two things with you number one bring about the changes midweek Start there with the classes, with the small groups, with the curriculum. With the... Number two, bring about the changes uh, before and after the service so that you're not actually touching the main service. And you can be a completely PD church even without changing the format of your service. You could be because it's not about culture and tradition. It's about priorities. All right. So please think about that and don't be discouraged and don't uh, have 
mind blocks that because you are a traditional church or you're a high Episcopalian church or you are a charismatic or Pentecostal church and this is the way you do worship or that's the way you do the service and because of that you cannot be PD. Don't, 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 don't give up so easily. You, there are ways to do it and if you want to ask me any questions about that or if I can help with that please write them to me and we can talk about it.